Hello ladies and gents, welcome to a Pro Evolution Soccer video with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today we are looking at playstyles. And the playstyle we're looking at today is actually build up and extra frontman. So first off, what is a playstyle? So if I just go on to David Luiz, we're going to see he has extra frontman if you look at the just below the pitch uh, diagram there. And what does this actually mean? So if I press the help button go to what are playing styles and we scroll all the way down we'll see we have a few defending uh, options here obviously those around the full work positions but the ones we're concentrating on today is build up and extra front man now what they actually say and what happens in the game is two different things so I'm gonna be showing you these two for starters so you can see a sort of direct comparison and see what the difference is so a build-up player who likes to drop back to receive the ball and trigger attacks from deep and then extra front man a defender who likes to join in the attack and they siege on the opposition goal at every given opportunity don't believe everything you read is a piece of advice from me right now so socrates and david louise both have extra front man mustafi has build up why have I said it like this? Because I wanted to create a sweeper formation and I know that Mustafi is going to be playing sort of just about here when we're in possession of the ball. When in possession of the ball, what are you going to see? See Mustafi drop back there? You can quite clearly see Socrates on the ball here, passing to David Luiz, both of those have extra front man and Mustafi has built up so you can see him sitting a little bit deeper than those extra front men however as I play it in the midfield you're not going to see Socrates and David Luiz bomb forward you are literally going to see him in this position for the majority of the game regardless of attacking strategy or defensive strategy okay, so I wanted to see what the defensive line looked like when I played the ball out from defense to see if Giving Liverpool the ball back changes the way they play. You can see there, again, David Luiz and Socrates a little bit further ahead than Mustafi. Mustafi pushes up, but he's, he's still a lot or a bit deeper than uh, David Luiz and Socrates. Adjusting the attacking strategy has no impact on where these three play. The extra front man or extra front men won't go further forward than they already are. So this is attacking. So you can sort of see their positioning. Very similar. All out attack will send one of them forward. As you can see David Luiz moving forward here. But the other extra front man doesn't move forward as well. So you're not going to see both of them bomb forward. Even on all out attack. Okay with the defense strategy. Again they're just sitting just a little bit ahead of Mustafi here. Okay, so we've now gone for all out defense. And again, you're not seeing any sort of position change there. You've got the two extra front men playing just ahead of Mustafi with build up. One myth I wanted to dispel was do the extra front men go up for corners and they do not. So you can see here Socrates, Mustafi and David Luiz all back here. Unless you manually tell them to go up for corners which I've shown you in another, another video. They will stay back. Okay the final test is to put Granite Xhaka in defence. Why is this? Because he has no playing style whilst playing in defense you can see his anchorman role is grayed out and I just want to compare that to where he sits in terms of build up and an extra front man so it'd be interesting to see his positioning in comparison to those two okay so Granite Xhaka is about to receive the ball and you can sort of see he is in line with Mustafi so that suggests that the extra front man actually moves forward and the build up player sort of sits in the similar line pattern to someone without 
the build up style. We'll let this play on just to see and make sure that's what the case is. In fact, here he's a lot deeper, but that suggests that his um, obviously his defensive prowess isn't that great. And he isn't going to be uh, fulfilling that role all that efficiently. Um, but yeah, as I'm sort of playing the ball, he sort of sits in between David Luiz and Mustafi. But he sort of floats around. Now Liverpool are in possession of the ball. I just want to see his positioning here. So yeah, he's. it looks like he's playing sort of alongside Mustafi. So the build-up style doesn't have any influence then in my opinion, on how deep they actually play. He won't play any deeper than uh, a player without any sort of style, whereas the extra front man does push a little bit further forward. You sort of see David Luiz there. He's a little bit ahead of the, uh, the other two. So from a defending point of view, I think positionally the build-up style is better. But I think if you want to bring the ball out of defense, it wouldn't be bad to have an extra front man in your back line as well. And the final test, ladies and gents, is placing a destroyer, the destroyer in defense. Now, if we just take a look at what the destroyer is, I was always thought this was a midfield role, so I'm, I was actually surprised to see this lit up. But a tenacious battler who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing. So it'll be interesting to see how he behaves, certainly when we do not have possession of the ball. So Liverpool have the thrown in the wide area, and I'm just focusing on Torreira now, who is the destroyer. And I'm just trying to sort of evaluate his position. It sort of looks along the same lines as the extra front man. So with possession of the ball, you can clearly see that the play styles of build-up and the destroyer are very, very similar in terms of positioning. And the same goes for those without a play style at all. So it is just that extra front man that's really having a true impact on the defending or the defender placement when you have possession of the ball. So when it comes to training, this does allow you to change the way a player plays. So, you know, if you've got a build up player and you wanted to become an extra front man, you can literally just train him in extra front man to change his play style. So when it comes to training, I've always found that the build-up style is probably the best. Um, you know, it gives you defensive awareness and ball winning. Those are the two important ones. But all of these, um, all of these training give you those anyway. Um, physical contact is obviously important, but I like to have that um, low pass and lofted pass um, boosted a little bit. And that's why I do tend to favor the build-up. The destroyer, you know, it's all around the physical contact, the stamina. Um, an aggression no, that's not for me for a defender personally and then extra extra front man jump that's important physical contact yeah i can see where they're coming from there heading yeah that's that's a good attribute to have if you're um you know if you're attacking goal and you do put them up for corners and obviously defensive um awareness and ball winning are really really important so it is a toss up. I would either go for build up or extra front man. I do quite like the idea that you can play an extra front man and he does play a little bit further forward. That could allow you to create nice triangles um, if you're playing a back three, for example. So that is uh, something to consider. So just to conclude, I prefer, or my, certainly my preference is the build up style. I just find him better defensively positioned. Um, the training stats are also better in my opinion. But, you know, having the extra front man isn't all that bad idea. Right where he will play a little bit further forward if you want to be a bit more offensive. Certainly if you're coming up against maybe a weaker side. But for me, it has to be the build-up style. I would avoid putting a destroyer or a player with no uh, playing style at all in defense. Because we saw that, you know, they're a bit floaty and they're not, you know, they... they you're going to end up playing people alongside, especially those uh, strikers with high attacking prowess. Anyway, that is all for me, ladies and gents. I look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully this video can get 1,000 likes or 10,000 views. And once that has been reached, I will be bringing out the next episode, which is focusing on the strikers. So we're looking at Dummy Runner, Fox in the Box, Goal Poacher, and Target Man. So, yeah. Like I say, once we hit those targets, I'll be bringing out the next video. Thank you one and all for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.